Their country may be ravaged by war, but for these children in Kyiv, there is at least sometimes the semblance of a normal life. On top of their lessons, they also go outside to pick berries for homemade jam, as a treat for soldiers fighting on the front lines. We have a classmate whose father is on the front, so we're going to send her the jam we're making. In another class, students make candles for soldiers in the trenches, a chance to contribute in a small way to the war effort. In frontline communities, teachers and students have had to adapt to even harsher conditions. When the school in eastern Donetsk was destroyed by Russian strikes, one educator transformed his living room into a classroom. When the school got destroyed, I decided to provide lessons at home for students so that they interact with each other. It's better to provide lessons in person compared to online classes. While the war continues, school life goes on. It's far from normal, but the learning doesn't stop.